Hey guys, today I want to talk about AI and the downside of AI. I'm talking about artificial intelligence. Now we must agree that for every innovation ever experienced in human civilization, there is always the advantage and the disadvantage. Here is one of the ways that AI is hurting us and will continue if information like this are not spread out for people to be aware and to be careful, especially online. Scammers have taken advantage of the AI tools to clone famous individuals, celebrities, and even enable Yahoo boys to fake their identities for online romantic scam. Imagine this. Okay, yes. We are we're having a bonanza. Um, if you can um, pay, if you can send me right now, if you send me 200,000, I'm going to send you to America. Just send me only 200,000. I'll do visa for you. I'll do your visa, ticket, everything, and you go to America. Just 200,000. So transfer it to that account I gave to you. That bank account I gave to you, transfer it right now. Then I'll send you to America. God bless you. This is a famous philanthropic preacher in Nigeria who has invested much of his church funds in humanitarian services, such as free school, free hospital, and he has sent countless Nigerians abroad for education. So how then is it possible that this man <laughs> would be asking somebody to send him money just to secure a scholarship from him? Obviously, this is a scam. This cannot be the man. So if you are wondering how the scammer was able to achieve this pastor's facial appearance, deep voice, and facial expression and movement, then you don't understand what AI is capable of doing. Here is another similar example. Watch it. Oh, okay. you put your ticket now, you surely be credited, okay? Oh, okay. Now, this scammer is trying to impersonate the famous Nigerian celebrity singer and lottery promoter, Paul Topisque. Paul was involved in the promotion of a lottery called Zoom Live Lottery, where he engaged in voice and video calls to clear their doubt. You know, when people win this stuff, when they call them, they used to doubt. So he usually called them. So he never knew that scammers were going to clone his image and use the same medium of calls, video call, to scam. This one is an example of some of the numerous cases. So it got so much that people started dragging him on Facebook, claiming that he duped them using the fake video call that they make with the scammers as their evidences. Sadly, Pisque could have continued taking all those dragging and all this accusation. So he took the bold decision by leaving the Zoom Life lottery just to save his name, his brand, and his integrity. Even international footballers like Ronaldo <laughs> also get cloned using the same AI application. Watch here. Sadly, people fall into this cheap scam because of ignorance. And I hope that this video will open their eyes to the existence of an application like this on the internet that can defraud them of their money. The AI application is so accurate that you may never know you are talking with a scammer. They pick the face of the person they want to use, program the person's voice texture, and then they are good to go. Every movement the scammer is making behind the camera reflects on the camera. So if the person is turning, in fact, watch this video. I can I can nod my head. I can wiggle my head. I can blink my eyes. And hello. This is the power of AI. So ladies and gentlemen, as much as AI is good, supportive, innovative, and a solution to a lot of our today's problems, it will also create more problems or become the problem if not controlled and checkmate. And if people, especially the unexposed internet users, are not educated on the existence of a scam tool like this, a lot of people will go in for it. 
So please spread this news, share this video, and let everybody know that AI can make anybody to be cloned, even you. And if you don't know, you do not know. So share the video, spread the news, let's save the world. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you. Please, you can share. I will see you in my next video. God bless you.